The Future of Farming – The World's Most Robotic Technology in Farming The global human population is projected to reach around 9 billion by 2050, necessitating a 70% increase in food production. To achieve this, the agricultural industry is increasingly focused on automation and robotics. Robotics have become integral in various sectors, including customer service, packaging, shipping, production, and transportation. This technological wave has also swept into agriculture. Farm robots are revolutionizing agriculture by automating repetitive and time-consuming tasks, allowing farmers and farm workers to concentrate on more complex activities. From harvesting crops to picking weeds, robotics is becoming a key component of agricultural technology, poised to transform the future of farming. Several technological innovations are paving the way for increased agricultural productivity. For instance, Harvest Automation Inc. based in Massachusetts designs, manufactures, and supplies mobile robots for material handling and data management in industrial environments. Their product line includes the HV100 robot, which automates tasks such as spacing, respacing, collection, and consolidation in commercial and wholesale nurseries and greenhouses and the TM100 robot, which enhances packing efficiency and reduces processing time in distribution and fulfillment centers. Startup FireRod has also created a fully automated farm in San Francisco, California. Its technology is integrated across the planet, relying on robots for the production of crops. About a thousand robotic arms are involved in tasks like tree transplantation and manipulation within greenhouses. These robotic arms perform subtle tasks, such as bedding and replacement measures, while mobile robots transport plants within the greenhouse. This optimized space efficiency ensures plants are given the required room throughout their life cycle. The E-Series robot is another innovation geared toward reducing crop waste. This mega robot by Agrobot has 24 robotic arms which each pick and harvest strawberries. A mixture of cameras and infrared depth sensors are used to feed the artificial intelligence. The AI can then detect the strawberry's position and ripeness, and the robotic arms then cut the stems. It uses LIDAR technology to create a 3D map of the robot's surroundings for safety and obstacle detection. As anyone with a garden can attest, keeping on top of weed growth can be difficult. But the problem is far more onerous for farmers raising large-scale crops for harvest. But this weeding robot has come to the rescue. The new droid is the handiwork of British startup Small Robot Company, which introduces a trio of miniature robots called Tom, Dick, and Harry. These were built to automate certain farming tasks, making things more cost-effective and sustainable in the process. This weeding robot uses small bursts of man-made electrical lightning strikes. The weeding robot Dick works together with another robot, Tom, whose job is to map every millimeter of the field and monitor the crops. The weeding robot then uses the data to autonomously move around the field, locating the weeds and targeting them with many electrical lightning strikes instead of using chemicals. Another innovative technology for rice farmers is the aquatic robot called Duck, designed by Nissan. This robot works to reduce pest plant growth in rice paddy fields. Originally, ducks were seen as allies by Asian farmers, using their feet to stir up pond floors, preventing weeds from taking root and growing. So, Nissan utilized the knowledge to develop the Duck. The robot is powered by solar energy and navigates by GPS. The Grow Greenhouse Robotics Worker is another multi-purpose robotic system for labor-intensive tasks in greenhouses. Its first obligation is the selective robot harvesting of greenhouse tomatoes. Grow is designed for a simple operation and smooth integration into existing greenhouse infrastructures. It can perform a range of tasks including harvesting additional vegetables, rolling monitoring, pollinating, and more. Metal Motion estimates grow systems could reduce labor costs by 50% with a prediction ROI in under three years. The robot incorporates state-of-the-art robotics, automation technology, advanced 3D motion systems, and machine vision algorithms to identify and locate ripe fruits. Multiple custom-designed robotic arms ensure robust, damage-free harvesting. 
The autonomous vehicle designed for seamless integration with existing infrastructure includes an onboard boxing system. Grow's goal is to combat farming labor shortages with a commercial version available in three to five years. Just like Grow, researchers in Europe and Israel have created a robot that can pick pepper. The Sweeper prototype, supported by the European Union Horizon 2020 program, uses a camera to recognize the color of peppers. Computer vision helps the robot determine the ripeness of the fruit, and it uses a small razor to cut the stem before placing the pepper in a basket. It takes about 24 seconds to pick a single pepper. Though researchers say they slowed the robot's movements for safety reasons, the sweeper can work for about 20 hours thanks to its LED lights. Fruit-picking robots have also undergone testing in the UK. Using a robotic arm, the robot picks raspberries standing 1.8 meters high. The battery-powered machine is equipped with a sensor and 3D cameras to adjust its movements based on the ripeness of the fruit. The robot can pick more than 45,000 raspberries a day, compared to a human worker who can pick about 15,000 in an 8-hour day. This robot has been developed in a partnership with FF Robotics, which aims to offer a robust, cost-effective, and efficient solution for harvesting fruit. The company provides an opportunity for farmers and growers to meet labor challenges, rising costs, and potential damage to hand-picked fruit. Panasonic also designed a robot that can pick tomatoes from a vine as quickly as human workers. The robot is designed to pick up up to 10 tomatoes per minute, and it accomplishes this feat by using a 3D camera rig and artificial intelligence to map out the locations of tomatoes growing on a vine, determine which tomatoes are ripe enough to pick based on their shape and color, and execute complex movements to pick and capture each one. Panasonic envisioned the robot attached to a rail system, picking an entire farm's worth of tomatoes without any human involvement at all. Similarly, the Spanish-based Agrobot has developed a strawberry picking machine that was tested in Driscoll Berry Fields in Oxnard, California. Agrobot's manipulators locate and identify strawberries, selecting them based on size and ripeness, ensuring a smooth and sensitive picking process. Here is another astounding robotic technology. The FarmBot is a CNC machine for plant beds. It will automatically grow plants for you. The FarmBot starts by planting seeds and knows which type of plant is planted in each location. It can then water each one based on its type and age. It can detect and pick out weeds as well as monitor things like soil moisture. No coding is required. The software helps you lay out the optimal plant bed mixing different types, and the advanced version can automatically switch between tools for different jobs such as seeding, weeding, watering, and soil monitoring. NASA is even looking into how the FarmBot could be used to farm food in space, on the moon, and on Mars. If you're into animal farming, this one's for you. This is the milking robot called Astronaut by Lely Vector. It's designed to minimize stress for cows and reduce the human workload. The cows approach the robot by themselves when they're ready to be milked. The machine recognizes each cow from the sensor on their collar. So, the milking process can be adjusted according to the personalized historical data, and brushes autonomously clean the udders. The integration of advanced technologies like AI and machine vision into agricultural robotics has a great impact, as it's revolutionizing the industry by enhancing efficiency and tackling labor shortages. Thank you for watching.